What's going on guys? Welcome to another video and uh, today I'm going to actually attempt to go like a legit day of fishing in my backyard. So we're going to go out there, we're going to try to fish, I got to get everything ready and uh, we'll be good. By the way, if you guys haven't checked out the ground shirts, links in my bio, it's on my website. Go check them out. It's the newest shirt I have came out with. So um, yeah, we're going to go fishing today. Um, how have you guys been? Leave a comment below. Let me know how you guys have been. How you guys been doing? Hope you guys have been having a great week and everything's going well. I start school in two days, which is Monday, so I'm not very excited about that. First things first, got to set up my camera. Boom, 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 boom. Gonna put this, this, this together right now. GoPro's all set and ready. We're gonna go grab a few poles. So I went in the garage and knocked like one pole to another and another pole to another and another pole to another and knocked like 15 rods on the ground. I wish I had the GoPro rolling because that was pretty funny, man. All right, so we're gonna get this stuff ready. I'm gonna get rigged up, get everything going, and then we'll hop out of here on the pond. All right, got the GoPro on, got the two poles I'm gonna be throwing. So this is what I'm throwing. I'm going to be throwing a drop shot for my slow moving bait. And then I want to have a moving bait. So I brought out, tied on a rattle trap. That's just a regular one knocker rattle trap. Hopefully we'll go out here and catch some. If we don't catch any, I'll try to move down there some. And if we don't even catch any there, but we're still wanting to catch some more, then we'll walk to the front of the neighborhood and go by the pool and hopefully we can get fish over there. I'm about to start school. On Monday. I didn't get any bites on this rattle trap. I'm gonna set it down and pick up this drop shot right here and see if I can put this thing to work and hopefully catch a few fish. I just think they're super slow and the hurricane came through and possibly messed them all up. Yeah. That was in a Got him. There we go. First cast on the drop shot. God, first cast. I was checking the rattle trap the whole time. Couldn't get a bite. Switch over to the drop shot and end up getting him. That's insane. Nothing big, but you know, I'll take him for first fish, especially first cast on this drop shot. Maybe it's gonna, maybe it's gonna do some work today. Pretty little guy right there. Nothing big. But hopefully we're hooking some good ones. So I just tried to fish over here through the rattle trap, didn't get any bites. Picked up the drop shot, first cast caught one. I fished a little bit around like over here and didn't get any more bites so i'm actually going to move down the bank see if i can catch some more over off this bend Ooh, there we go that was a big bite. oh my god he thumped the heck out of it guys i think he might have stole my worm gosh i honestly felt like it might have been like a catfish or something that bit it Oh, he didn't steal my worm. Whacked it right out there. Let's see if I can catch him. I've been having to move this bait so slow. I don't know what's going on with the pond. If it's just getting trashy, you know how ponds are. It's just slow. Or, I mean, but this is how it's been forever. Like, I'm sitting out here. I come out here, try to throw a rattle trap, get a reaction bite. Then I come back with the drop shot. It's like the only thing I can really get a bite on out here. I, I mean, I've tried everything. It's getting to the point where I can't even hop this drop shot and shake it because they're that slow. I'm just kind of having to drag it. Like that fish wouldn't even eat it, and I can tell you how slow it was working. I mean, I was just sitting here dragging this thing. First one I caught, he actually he ate it right when I threw it out there. He ate it on the fall. You know, it wasn't even me hopping there or anything. So, I mean, they're just very lethargic, and the hurricane just blew through a few days ago, or last week, actually, and it could be because of that. I mean, it was only like four or five days ago when the hurricane was here. But then again, it wasn't too bad here, but I guess I guess we'll just have to see. I just want to fish this spot right here real good because there's usually a lot of fish in this area. 
if we don't get any here what we'll do is we'll move down over by the pool and hopefully catch some there i haven't gone fishing there in a second so maybe we can uh sack up a few good ones over there God, dog, I swear I felt like a bite. I knew it was structure, and then right before it hooks it, it felt like a bite. Oh, well, I guess that's how you do it. I'm trying so hard to just come out on this pond and literally just film like a fishing video. Like, I don't understand why it's so hard. Like, this pond. I've caught two fish over seven and a lot of small ones, but uh, most of the time I wasn't filming. I would just be like, yeah, let me go out here for like 10 minutes, throw a drop shot, catch a fish or two, whoop de doo But lately it's just been horrible. I mean, I caught one, I had that one bite. And uh, we're gonna go to the other side of the lake. We're gonna try to see if I, I can hook into some over there. I usually don't fish over there, so maybe, maybe there's some luck could come from over that side. Because the thing is, it's not like many people fish this pond. So I know it's just not from just straight pressure. Like, I wouldn't expect that to be. Maybe over by my house, since I'm fishing and the neighbors across the street are fishing. But rather than that, like, I don't see this place is getting a lot of pressure. I don't see the fishing being rough because of the pressure. Um, I do see the fishing being rough because of, like, the weather pressure that way, but not as in, like, people fishing it. I can't see that. So we're just going to go over there. Throw this drop shot, throw that rattle trap. Attempt to catch us a good one. I do not need to forget these. Currently going to drive to the pool. I'm just hoping to catch some fish for you guys on camera. It's been very tough And I really want to get this video out to you guys and I'm about to start college on Monday and today is Saturday You guys are watching this Sunday, so I'm praying That I will have a lot of time to start filming a lot more and traveling a lot I've been very, very busy lately, just kind of traveling around. It sucks. It sucks like going like place to place to place and then having to do this, having to do that, and then get used to Like I can't get back to normal and it's just, it really sucks. But about to pull up to the pool. We're going to literally, we're going to catch fish over here. I do not care what I have to do. I don't care if I have to jump in after them and tackle them. We're going to catch fish. All right. Let's see, I'm not gonna bring the vlog camera, but I do need to grab these two poles. All right, there's some grass right here and that's kind of what I'm fishing before I got like, walk up on it. There's like a little bit of grass along the edge, kind of like that. Make sure I don't spook any of the fish on the bank. That's one like key tip when you're like pond fishing. I don't like to creep up, especially if I'm gonna be fishing something on the bank. I do not like to creep up where I'm going to end up scaring the fish. To stay a clean distance, fish what I want to want to fish. Then I actually walk up on it if I'm going to start casting out or around. But uh, before I even walk up next to that, like I'm not going to go walk up right next to that grass right there before I throw in. But there should be a fish sitting in that. Especially with the sun being up how it is. Not any wind over here. This fish should be, there should be a few fish up in that grass. Well, no bites on that grass. There is a pipe that goes out right here. I don't know if you guys can see that, but I will fish out here along this pipe. My God, there should be a fish over here. There's like no structure in this pond. So any structure that I see, I mean, there should be a fish there, technically. It makes the most sense of any structure, anything out in the water, that there should be fish sitting on it. Cause there's really nothing out here for these fish to stick and hold to at least that i've found yet you know there, i haven't seen any trees or anything that really fish would stay and uh keep shelter in you know i, I really don't see anything that fish it took up to this is not happening it is hot out here the sun or the sun just finally went up but it's one of those things where i i have been going out there for a long time now i mean a few months and it's just getting worse and worse and 
people have been commenting. That's kind of why I wanted to make this video. People have been commenting like, dude, you got a pond in your backyard. Why don't you go fishing? Well, like sometimes I don't have time to like leave the house due to, you know, me doing everything with the business and me with school and me with this, me with that, because I got a lot going on. And I wish it was that easy to walk in the backyard and catch, you know, 10 fish, but it really isn't. I've been out there for like four hours and literally only caught that one small one. Literally, I, I just, it's that rough out there, guys. I really wanted to film a decent fishing video today, but it just doesn't seem like it was going to happen. This pond just does not like me. This pond just hates me. I, I don't know. I've caught two big ones out of here. Uh, it's a lot, good bit of small ones, and, and just, it's been rough. I, I just don't get it. I just do not get it. But the baits I were throwing, just a standard old drop shot right here. Got that on five pound line, cigar fluorocarbon. Have a little zoom. Green pumpkin green finesse worm on there. That's usually what I fade to is just the regular old finesse worms on those drop shots. That's what's been pretty successful for me in the past. I mean, you can fade with, you know, you can go with regular just straight up drop shot worms. You don't have to go with the finesse worms. That's just usually what I use, easy to find, and your regular zoom finesse worms. Another bait I was using was actually a one knocker Excalibur rattle trap right here. This one's actually the gold. Um, has a little bit of chrome on it. That's usually a great rattle trap. And you know, I use that for like the moving bait. Just didn't happen. Use a drop shot to chase it up with, caught that one fish, but that's about it. I mean, I had a few bites. I just don't get like uh, how tough it is. We're actually gonna make me a little cup. This is my favorite uh, BCAs right now. This is Surge uh, Active Grape. If you guys wanna go check them out, I'll leave a discount code link below. Like I said, uh, this is definitely my favorite supplement company that I've actually got attached to. The past couple of months I've been using their products and there's Everything tastes amazing. I haven't really found anything that doesn't taste good, but go look them up, Surge. So, time for fan comment of the day. So, it goes to Yak Pack Outdoors. It he, I cannot talk. I don't know why I just can't talk when the camera comes on. It just does not want to come out sometimes. Yak Pack Outdoors, shout out to him. He said, man, my heart stopped for a split second when you snapped your line. I thought the camera was about to go flying. I'm not going to lie. That, that was in the last vlog. If you guys want to go check that out, go check it out. Um, I'm not going to lie, dude. I really thought that camera was going to go flying. Cool. I didn't know what happened. I thought that bait was going to go flying. I thought it was gone. But overall, guys, if you guys want to be featured in a fan comment, be sure to comment below. Be sure to like the video. Support means the world. Thank you guys so much. Be sure to subscribe and hit the little bell for post notifications. Thank you guys so much for the support. Also, one more thing, if you guys want to check out shirts right here, go to my website, link below. You guys can go check that out. And uh, overall, I'd like to apologize for not catching a lot of fish in this video, but I literally just wanted to show you guys that this lake just, just does not like me, and it happens that I'll live on it, and it just kind of sucks. Maybe it'll pick up here soon. Maybe we'll, I'll start catching big ones, start catching more fish. Maybe that'll happen. If you guys want to see a catfish video also, I know I can go out there at night and at least go catch some catfish. If you guys want to see that for a change, let me know below. I just want you guys to communicate. I want to talk with you guys. I want to see what you guys want to see next. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video. I think that 24-7 an understatement to my day-to-day. -day. If ain't no way, then I'ma make a way. Yeah. They'll say, say it ain't no way.